morning guys so I'm actually headed down to the boat right now uh, I'm gonna do a little solo trip today uh, I'm gonna do some pre-fishing I got a bunch of charters coming up so I need to find some fish for these charters so I'm just gonna target anything and everything from sheep's head trout redfish flounder it does not matter I'm just going fishing guys if you didn't see my latest video go check it out um, I started a new series and it's called the fishing challenge and it's just my way of giving my subscribers you guys a chance to come fishing with me yesterday I filmed episode one the links in the description I had two subscribers from my hometown come fish with me we had a lot of fun out there if you're interested in doing it like I said just email me and if I'm available maybe we can work something out Finally got some decent weather this morning, man. These clouds are burning off quick and it's actually warming up. I'm gonna start right up here with some uh, with some live shrimp and a Carolina rig. And I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna deep drop for maybe sheep's head or, or whatever I can catch. I'm just gonna start in the bayou right here. I got my little live shrimp right here. I'm just gonna drop it down to the bottom. Sheep's head can be a super picky fish. So when you're targeting them, you wanna keep your rod tip as still as possible uh, because any movement and they're gonna, uh, they're gonna shy away from it, man. They can be really, really spooky. First fish and it's a speckled trout. <laughs> I'm sitting here fishing for uh, for sheep's head before I leave the bayou, <laughs> and I caught a uh, I caught a speckled trout. <laughs> That's cool. Pretty little speckled trout. <clears throat> I catch a lot of sheep's head right here certain times of year, so I just wanted to stop right here and see if I could catch a sheep's head. But I've never caught a speckled trout doing this until now. Ah, dang it. Dude, I keep getting a bite right there. It's a decent bite, too. Oh, got him, got him. Fish on, fish on. Ah, another speckled trout. <laughs> Goodness. That's crazy. I've never caught, I mean, I've caught trout in here in the summertime, but never, never this time of year. I've never really fished for them in here. I'm not exactly fishing for them now. All right, guys, I'm going to take it on out. Not much happening in there. Got a couple trout. Uh, but I'm going to take it out, look for some redfish, some flounder, whatever else I can find. So I'm going to roll back up into this cove right here, do some flounder fishing for a little while. Just see if I can put a few flounder in the boat, see if they're still here. And it's so clear. Look how clear it is down here. You could almost see a flounder on the bottom. I pulled my boat up on the beach over there, and I'm just going to hit this cove right here and, and see, see if there's any flounder. got one guys got a fish fish on right here i think it's a lizard but i'm not 100 percent sure no it's a flounder it's a flounder look at there Her oh he came off are you kidding me right by the dang oh that makes me so angry he buried up in the sand i can still see i can still see him he's like he is literally buried up in the sand right here next to me <laughs> he ran off. <laughs> he got out of there then. He didn't like that. <sighs> All right. So I'm 0 for 1 on the flounder. I don't. I, I don't really. I don't like losing fish. All right. Another fish hooked up right here. Another fish on. He feels. Oh, that's another flounder. Another flounder. No, it's not. Just kidding. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
<laughs> he also came off right as I pulled him up there. Uh, look at that. All right, see you, little buddy. <laughs> he took out of there. All right, that was my first flounder of the day, uh, but it was the second flounder I've had hooked up in probably five casts. So I'm going to keep casting in here, uh, and hopefully I'll get a big one. I hung both of these fish in the exact same spot, so I'm just going to keep fishing here a little longer. There's bound to be a, a nice one up in, up in here somewhere. Oop, 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 I think I just got a bite. Got him. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh! Dude, come on! Uh, I'm angry. I'm angry. The fish are in here, guys. The fish are in here. I'm just not capitalizing right now. Alright, guys. I'm moving it over here to the back of the boat. I'm going to make a few casts here. Because I usually catch a fish out the back of the boat here. Uh, I hadn't hit this spot yet. And then after I hit this spot, I'm going to go do some exploring oh got him fish on fish on i moved back here to the back of my boat and hung a fish on the first cast it feels like a flounder it feels like a flounder but i don't see him yet oh yeah it's a flounder it's a flounder come on little buddy he's not a not a big one but it is a flounder Come on, little buddy. He's bigger. There he is. But I'm going to release him. See you, buddy. Pretty little flounder. All right, guys. Off to the woods we go. Okay. Hopefully I'm not going to get snake bit while trying this. Oh. All right. <laughs> it's probably too cold for rattlesnakes, but I am not 100% sure. So this, this island here, you can only get to by boat. Uh, it's actually an abandoned war fort that I videotaped before. And there's some pretty creepy, uh, creepy places here, man. There's like old caves and bunkers and stuff like that so i don't think i'm gonna go in any of those today but maybe in the future i'll get some friends together and we'll go explore the creepy caves that are supposedly haunted so the story goes comment below if you want me to go explore the haunted caves check this out guys it's beautiful up here Check out this underground tunnel right here. I'm definitely gonna go explore all the underground bunkers and caves and tunnels one day when I have the proper lighting and I can bring, bring my crew with me. I think that'll be fun. All right guys, I'm gonna ease back to the boat right over here, do a little bit more fishing. Go check a few more spots and then call it a day. All right, I've not caught anything else, so I'm gonna uh, take it back. I'm not gonna take it back home, but I'm gonna go explore some more spots. I'm gonna go check a trout spot, see if these trout are still here that I found the other day, and uh, maybe try to get a redfish or two on the way in as well. All right, guys, I'm just pulling up here to my last spot. I'm gonna see if these trout are still here. Uh, I'm marking a few on the sonar, but I have been unsuccessful in getting them to bite so far, so it may not be trout. Ah, finally hooked one. Finally hooked one. Ah, I'm here. And that's not a trout. You know what that is, guys? That's a, a sea bass. That is a sea bass. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. All right, we're gonna release him, even though they're pretty good to eat. Oh, got him, there he is. Fish on, fish on. Ah, he's a baby. <laughs> this ain't a big one. 
this is a small one. That's a trout. I marked, uh, I'm, I'm marking some up on the sonar, but it's a little tough to get them to bite today for some reason. Oh, ah, he had the bottom. There he is. Got him. Got him. Oh, dang. That ain't a trout, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that's a trout. That's fighting weird. Look at that. You gotta be kidding me. Red snapper at the bridge right here. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna end the day on that one. All right, I'm about to take it back in. Uh, I've seen what I needed to see out here. I mean, there's a few fish. It's not a great bite right now. Man, this is a really tough time of year to fish Pensacola. It really is. It, it's Man, this is a summertime place, so uh, I'm hungry. I gotta take it back. I need some food. Made it in in time to catch breakfast. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, shoot me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. I'll keep doing more. Y'all have a great week.